The patient is positioned supine, head flexed in a Mayfield head holder, with the torso elevated at approximately 20 degrees. After minimal clipping of the hair, a sigmoid incision located over the coronal suture is used. A 4 by 8 centimeter craniotomy is fashioned across the midline after placement of 3 to 6 burr holes for dural stripping. Bleeding from the overlying superior sagittal sinus may be controlled with surgicel, gel foam, and cottons. Careful placement of retractors in the interhemispheric fissure allows visualization of the underlying callosal marginal and pericallosal arteries. It is crucial to preserve all bridging cortical veins posterior to the coronal suture. We find it helpful to place cotton strips, or telfa, under our retractors to minimize trauma to the mesial frontal lobes. The interhemispheric fissure is visualized, and the arachnoid bands are carefully dissected while retractor blades are used to deepen the exposure. The pericallosal arteries are identified and should be carefully separated to find an avascular midline. In cases of an azagous anterior cerebral artery, the artery should be retracted to the side to minimize injury to bilateral perforators. The characteristic white appearance of the corpus callosum is visualized between the pericallosal arteries after sharp dissection of adherent arachnoid bands. It is helpful to completely expose the length of the callosum before beginning the callosotomy. The callosotomy itself may be performed with a combination of low-power bipolar cautery, suction, and ultrasonic aspiration. We find it helpful to confirm the midline with the use of frameless neuronavigation before beginning the transaction. It is important to stay between the midline leaves of the septum to preserve the ependymal lining of the ventricles and thus minimize postoperative CSF accumulation. Careful angling of the microscope and raising the patient's head helps with visualization of the anterior-most aspect of the callosum. It is crucial to preserve the pile membrane to protect the internal cerebral vein and vein of Galen that lie just anterior to the splenial reflection of the callosum. The posterior callosotomy may be challenging as the angle of the splenium falls away from the operator.